Hello, I'm Adam from Great Britain, and I love China very much, especially Chinese food. When I first came to China, my friends in Beijing and Shanghai invited me to eat Shuanyang Ro and Kouro Chan, Fecha Fecha Hot. I knew from eating this mutton that it came from Xinjiang province in China, from the pastures of Xiaobai. Having been to Europe, Australia, and America, many of the world's ranches, I must say that China's Xinjiang, Xinjiang's pastures, the sheep of Xiaobai, really have the most delicious mutton I've tried. So it became a real attraction for me. In order to find out more, I came to Xinjiang and started my exploration of the pastures and a gourmet tour. Now to return to old-fashioned ways. I've taken a ride on this farming tractor. Despite the bumps and lack of seatbelts, it's really cool. My destination is the Sergei Open Pastures outside Bali. Welcome to our next stop. We're just at Kui Su Tia Khan Pasture just on the outskirts of um, Bali Khun. We've got another 25 kilometers to go up into the mountains. So we'll head off and meet the locals and check it out. Tractors can't drive up to the top of the mountain. So standing here on the pastures beneath the blue skies, everywhere is emerald green. After a minute, the sheep walk down the mountains before disappearing into the pine trees. No matter where I've been, they almost always resemble embroidered white flowers on a boundless green blanket. Despite our remoteness, it is far from quiet. The valleys are filled with the bleating of sheep, speaking a language only they know. I can but guess what they're chatting about. My heart is at ease and at peace, and it is rare to feel. My thoughts are quiet, and it's a pity my poetry skills are limited, as I cannot think of a good enough phrase to describe the serene beauty surrounding me. Sometimes, even the lambs and yaks stand motionless, as if they are contemplating their fortune residing on these grasslands. Now let's follow the flock into the forest. But first, listening to the sounds of rippling water, let's stop and quench our thirst. This mountain spring feeds the flocks of the pasture and the other wild animals of the mountain. Look, can you see? There are seeker deer droppings in the bone. Why might they be here, you ask? Well, they just show there's evidence that there are reindeers roaming across these hills. If we're really lucky, we might be able to try and find some, but they're quite a rare find. I've been warned that there are bears and wolves on these mountains. And I can't but worry for the sheep and herdsmen who are not constantly vigilant. Despite the peace found on these pastures, danger still exists. Fortunately for us, the sheep of Xiaobai are very alert. In the next episode of Trilzai Xinjiang, Wan Zhuan Wuchang, herdsman Sergei invites me into his house. I wonder what the local food will be.